Hey makers this is Truvin and today I comes up with another video for power automate and power apps tip In this episode I am going to talk about how best you can use input parameter from power apps to power automate Most of the time we are using ask in power apps in order to call our power automate from power apps but that is not the effective way Let's say for an example you have a business requirement where you are passing five parameters from your power apps to power automate and now the client changed the requirement and now there is a need to pass 10 different parameter from power apps to power automate so every time you need to configure some changes into your flow as well as you need to maintain the function into your power apps power automate function as well now how to overcome that what is the best efficient way in order to achieve that so for that you can use json as an input parameter in order to achieve your requirement in this episode i am going to talk about how you can pass the input parameter using json from power apps and parse that json into power automate so stay tuned throughout this entire video Also at the end of the video we will play a quiz and one lucky winner will get a certificate from my end. Also one more important announcement if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter handle the Insta and Twitter ID are available here or maybe in the description box. So do check it out. So without further delay let's get started and talk about how we can optimize power automate input parameter for power apps trigger. So let's get started Here I am on my machine and here I have opened my power automate flow Now first of all let me talk about the business requirement and business challenges that we are facing every time So let's say for an example here i have one of the power apps and here i have added one of the button now what i want to achieve here is i want to pass five different parameter from my power apps to power automate so at the time what we are doing as a traditional approach let's say for an example we have a power apps connector available in the power automate and we can use any of the trigger like power apps or power apps v2 if you are using power apps v2 basically you need to provide the different input parameter over here and let's say for an example if you are using normal power apps then if you need to initialize any type of input from your power apps basically you need to use ask in power apps so what i'm meant by is let's say for an example here i'm initializing any variable and now let's say for an example i need the input from the power apps so at that time basically i need to define the type and over here i simply need to click here and i need to click on ask in power apps that is how that variable is initialized and when we add that particular flow to our power apps we can pass that parameter over there now this is a straight forward requirement and basically i have also created couple of videos using the same approach now let's say for an example your application is become lengthier and now you have a requirement that let's say for an example you wanted to pass the multiple parameters like this item id name email age and date of birth and this is something right now we have five parameters now think that you develop your power apps and you develop your flow and after some time client is trying to add some more parameter into your flow at the time what you need to do here is basically you are making changes into your flow by asking in power apps or defining the different parameters and as well as you need to go to your power apps and over here as well whatever the flow that you are triggering you basically need to pass all the parameter from there so basically the maintainability of flow is become lengthier in terms of when you are adding more and more parameter gradually now what's the solution for that the solution is very simple you simply need to pass json as a parameter from your power apps and you need to parse that json basically into your power automate now let me demonstrate that thing practically over here so you will get a better idea 
so let's get started so first of all let me create a new flow so let's say for an example i am removing both of these trigger from here and most of the time i recommend everyone to use power apps v2 trigger because it has more flexibility so i'm just going to use power apps v2 trigger and over here i'm defining one input parameter only so let's just define the input parameter as input param right and now let's click on new step and now over here what we are going to do is we are going to use pass json action but before that let's save this particular flow and provide the name of this flow so i'm just providing the name of my flow as yt input demo i'm just saving my flow over here and basically we need to add one action over here so let me just add one compose action this moment so i'm just adding compose and over here basically i'm just printing one of the variable that we have defined that is input param that's all now let's save the flow and it will allow me to save the flow over here now let's say we want to pass this five parameters right now in order to do that basically we simply need to go to power automate let's insert one button and let's trigger our flow on this button so i'm just adding this button i'm going to action menu and clicking on power automate and let's check the flow that we just created that is yt input demo so let me just add that particular flow and that will add that particular flow over here so let it to be added and the flow is being added now over here we need pass json parameter now if we want if you want to pass this kind of json basically you need to use json function so first of all you need to make some uh, changes into your json so let's say over here we have double inverted comma for each key and value so in key basically we need to remove this uh, double inverted comma so that we can pass that from the power apps so simply remove that and after that simply copy this particular json and now what you need to do here is you simply need to use a json function over here so type json and that will prompt you the suggestion as well and inside that paste your entire json and complete the bracket and we are done just format your text so it will look nicer so basically i have passed this entire json from my power apps now what i need to do here is i need to parse that json into my power automate for that i need to go to my power automate again over here so let me just open up my power automate so this is my power automate flow and now over here i need to add an action parse json so just add an action and search for parse json and over here you simply need to use an action pass json you need to provide the content so content is basically this is the input parameter so you simply need to click here and just provide your input parameter over here and over here you need to define your json schema for that just click on generate from sample and just provide the sample so this is the sample that we need to provide so it will automatically generate a payload for you so click on done and you can see that entire json schema is generated right so it's been done now let's save this stuff and we are good now let's say for an example if i want to use any of my parameter in any of my compose action basically when you click on this particular uh, dynamic value then what happen here is parse json will provide me all the parameter so these are the different input parameter that we have defined like item id name age date of birth so everything is available so you simply need to use any of your parameter and you are good to parse that value right so this is how you can simply parse the json string into power automate so as a first step what we have done we just pass the json string from our power apps to our power automate and then we have used the parse json 
basically to parse the input string over here now let's just save this flow and now let's test our flow for that i'm going to my power apps and now let me just press the button so i just press the button and now let's see if the flow has ran successfully or not so let me just open up my another window where i have that power automate let me just go back and check the flow run and over here the flow ran successfully now let's check the ran and over here in uh, basically in this particular trigger i am just getting that entire input like this after that i use parse json and in parse json it has parsed that entire body and in compose action basically i just got the property that i want so this is how you can simply use json as input parameter from power apps to power automate and parse that json in order to retrieve all the property now what happen here is in future if you need additional parameter then you only need to change this json payload from here and you simply need to uh, add the value into your json structure you don't need to do any additional steps like you need to add the another parameter then use comma in order to pass that value everything is managed by a simple json object and that is the effective way in order to achieve the multiple input parameters with power apps and power automate so just keep this practice as a base practice because you can achieve the same thing with the parameter as well but this is something at the organizational level most of the organizations are following so hope you love this tip now it's time for quiz you basically need to answer the question in the comment section only and one lucky winner will get a certificate of appreciation from my end so the question is which action is used to parse the json string in power automate option a sort json option b parse json option c parse json object and option d parse json array it's very easy so keep answering in the comment section also if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel if you are looking for any consultancy or training this is the website you can follow me on all my social media handles using this link and don't forget to follow me on my twitter and instagram handle if you are looking to listen different audio podcasts related power platform this is the podcast channel and if you are looking for short content and hindi content on power platform this is the dedicated channel called digital thruvin subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye